Hey guys, Brandon here with another unboxing, believe it or not. Uh, I'll just make this really, really quickly. Shouldn't be anything too terribly exciting, but if you remember in a couple of videos uh, back, or actually in the last two videos I made, I believe, I mentioned something about plans with a uh, kind of a DMR build in Airsoft. I really like the AR platform, like kind of the M16 length uh, uh, barrel and, uh, and fixed stock. And if you remember on one of those last videos, I said that I... Uh, Really, really missed my KWA SR12, of which I had made it to a really great performing DMR and then sold. Well, I was on eBay and I found another one that seemed to be a pretty good deal. So I'll tell you more about it, but first let's just go ahead and pull all this out. And as you can see, I guess the original box is not included. I can kind of guess that from the size of this, but uh, from the size of this box, but yeah. Anyway, original box not included. I guess that's kind of the surprises you'll find on eBay. But um, here we have a suppressor, which actually looks really, really nice on the gun on the listing. So that's pretty cool. Quite a bit of bubble wrap here. And then here's the gun. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to shoot this today because I'm waiting on some batteries, uh, or a, a battery to come in. Uh, that should be here on Friday. Today is Thursday, and by Friday, oh, okay, so tomorrow, and I just realized. So okay, just have to wait till tomorrow then. Um, anyway, we'll go ahead and take this out. So, you're not going to be able to hear me over the bubble wrap, so why don't I just take this off and then I'll talk. Alright, and that is a very familiar feeling right there and that does feel good. So, there it is, the KWA SR12 with the dust cover not closing, which he did not mention in the ad. Alright, surprises, they're fun. Um, but it is nice to see this original sticker here, the original sticker here that shows that the uh, receiver or the gearbox has not been open. That's nice to see. But overall, very nice familiar feeling. Uh, that dust cover is going to drive me crazy. But um, it's not like a gas blowback rifle to where you really need this thing to be covered all the time. It is covered already. So I can uh, live past that. But anyway, here is the gun. Very, very clean. He said he never uh, actually used it in a game just for target practice. So. Uh, I could believe it. It is incredibly clean. I um, wonder how it shoots. We'll find out tomorrow. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the orange tip is off because uh, he just always ran the suppressor. So let's go ahead and take this off. There we go. That looks like a really, really nice suppressor, actually. It just takes some of that gunk off. Actually, a really good weight to it. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like textured here, but smooth here. And then I guess you could change it from counterclockwise to clockwise. But anyway, very nice feeling suppressor, actually. A good size for it, I think, as well. Um, so yeah, very, very cool package, I think. And so my original plan was actually to just get a new um, KM16, because they stopped selling the SR12. Unfortunately, it is my favorite KWA ever made, Airsoft gun ever made, actually. And uh, they stopped selling the SR12, the 12-inch 12, uh, 12 rail system with the fixed stock. I really, really like that AEG setup with the 2GX uh, system and everything. Um, but what you can buy is the M16 uh, gun, so fixed stock, but with like the, the polymer receiver. And I was gonna think, I was thinking about getting that, and then just swapping a, uh, putting a rail system on there, um, and then putting a 6.01 in there. And the 2GX uh, hop-up bucking is actually fantastic, so it wasn't gonna do anything like that. And just like that, it would have been a perfect DMR. But apparently, he says he already has a 509 millimeter 6.01 type bore inner barrel. I asked him who made it, and he says he forgot, but it was like $60. Uh, I would have put an Angel Customs or Mad Bull. I had good luck with Mad uh, Mad Bull uh, 6.01s. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and break this thing apart real quick just to see what barrel he's running. But um, anyway, more updates to come on this gun, especially tomorrow when I unbox my other good stuff, and then we'll go ahead and shoot it. So stay tuned tomorrow. Anyway, that does it for this quick video. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.